So at the end of five years, these people would be predicted on the basis of very large 10,000 people studies to have somewhere in the range of 25 to 50 percent recurrence rates of heart disease. In other words, a new event, a new heart attack, a new bypass, a new stent, a new stroke, a new death. And that's the standard of, of most tests, even on statins. Even on statins, the best statin trials still show a around 25% recurrence rate in two and a half years of a new event. So clearly this is not acceptable. In our patients, in five years, two out of the 500 patients had a new stent put in, so which is 0.4%. One other patient had a carotid artery endarterectomy, which I did, because he didn't listen to me. And one patient had a stroke who was in atrial fibrillation and refused to take Coumadin. So our overall cardiac event rate in five years in 500 patients was four out of 500, or 0.8%. So virtually nothing. And this is 500 people taken off the street with known coronary artery disease following an actual very simple uh, diet and supplement program. This is not a irreversible process. This is not something that is going to happen to you. This is something that can be stopped. And the really exciting thing is we now have angiograms of people who have volunteered that show that, in fact, the process is reversible. And it's reversible very, very quickly. I had the pleasure of showing you uh, one of our more recent patients who, in basically nine months, did a remarkable job of cleaning out his coronary arteries. And the proof is in the pudding.